We better wait till we better gym work. Can do coaches. Some of you maybe may, may need a wee bit of extra work. I'm not saying he does, but so what you do is put this around his waist, come over here. Down on your hands. So you've one, two, three, or A, B, C. What? One, two, three, or A, B, C. Yep. Got it? You're crawling out in your hands and your feet. Okay. Yeah, over that one. Uh, if, I, if I sell that one, <laughs> if I sell that one, that's A, B, C. C, there you go. Good, back in the B, come on. B. C. Come on, get in, get in, get in, come on, come on back in. A. B. 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 B, come on. C. Come on, back in, back in the B, back in the B. A. Good answer, keep on it. Okay, back in. B. Arm relax. Good boy. Up. Okay. Up top that. No, don't take it off you. Oh, shit. <laughs> so what you can do is put a wee bit of pressure on him. We're going to run to... We're going to run to the wall, touch the wall. So it's power training. Good running mechanics. Using your arms that you've all been shown this morning with the running coaches you've all seen. Where you go. Run. You weren't here. Run. So I'm lying back. Good, pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it. Good. I'm going in, pump it, pump it, pump it. Good. I'm down again, Simon. No, 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 no. What you can, I'll, I'll do him, give him a clap. What you can see. See that. We do a lot of work with this. Okay. You can also, the, the bonds here. You can tie them against the door, work on your own. You can do boxing training. Okay, I'll be back to your chest press, shoulder press, rotator cuff. So you do the rotator cuff, throw a punch, above your head, squat, row. No, just stuff you can do with a six pound barn or three or four pound on it. But if you play anything that I work with, wrap it up, it's easy throwing the kit back. So that's strength training. Good for rehab and good for all that stuff. The power bags. Here we go first. You see, usually you see all the, the fancy stuff. Doesn't need it but fancy. Up, push it out. Run after it. And go the length of the hall and up again. And your partner goes. As you're going with the power bag, the other boy's wall ball striking the ball. So he's getting the skills the other man's doing power training and strength training. Okay? Many of these boys are going to the gym. Most of us good. Come on, Dan. 
So what you can do, you put your hand on my shoulders. There's loads of stuff you can do in the pits. You don't need weights. You can, you can push against me. Now, where did I say go? Right, you're down to get at me, aren't you? Not last day. Don't worry about my new. Don't worry about my new tab. <laughs> so what you can do? Where you go? Push. Yeah, push. Push. No, push. Oh, no. push. <laughs> Don't rip the tap. Don't rip the tap. Try and push. Try and push. Try push. Try and push. Try and push. Try and push. Try and push. So there's loads of stuff. Then you can go like this. You can push him. You can pull him. Take him for a walk. We'll take him for a walk. That's a good boy. You're strong, boy. You're strong. Yeah, but good. Then you can do this. Go. Feel the run there. Run to the top and back to me. Yeah. Go! I'm serious, yes, I'm serious. So we need to see him slow down. We've got a fit corner forward. We need to do strength work. Pull it! Good. Good. Back the skills. Do wall ball quickly. Wall ball. You. Go. Last one. You do wall ball, I'll just pretend, just pretend. Is that down here? All on the pace cut, you have to put your feet step forward to me. Pull it! Sir. And then see if you were doing coaching them with the change over and he could do the wall ball. Good lad. For the ladies, you could do power bag, three kilos. You can throw it. Throw it back to me. Take it back to me. <laughs> you can throw him over your head. It's your head. Okay, go and get that girl in the, girl in the glasses. Yeah. Danielle. Okay, throw it back to me, Danielle, from the chest press. Throw it over your head. Good girl. Load your stuff you can do. You can jump over them. Be rugby classes. Load your stuff you can do with power bags. These one here are very cheap. You don't have to go for the fancy stuff. Them there does the same job. Probably some of you boys can make them. But every club should have that type of stuff. Power bags, battle ropes, and boxes. <laughs> you smart again? Come on. So, just facing me and jump up. Not easy. You need to step back down. Read up again. Step back there. So, just to show you coaches, that's what we started off with. A young fella couldn't jump at 13 years of age. So what he's progressed to now is a double box. But he couldn't, he couldn't jump coaches. And that's everything that I do, just going to video from now on. So everybody has the proof in the pun. So he couldn't jump at all. So coach, if you just come a wee bit closer, the players. He's now 15 and he plays full back and, and midfield. So he's like, and he goes nice and deep, like you've seen this morning with Marty. It's so a good functional exercise. His toes are a wee bit further out, but not to worry. But he couldn't jump. Excuse me, Kevin, he's fucking jumping, isn't he? <laughs> Look how high he's up. He's up seven foot. Breaking ball. Contrast that with a small corner back, he's smaller than. Coaching conference, what's it your name? <laughs> <laughs> so, he, he, he couldn't jump either. Nice and easy, not, 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 no rabbit sense here, just simple stuff. But remember, we need them to jump. Showing them how to jump, starting off as I should. Young lad. So, look, he's getting up seven foot, over seven foot. So, if he's playing cornerback and he's marking a big tall man, he can get up and break ball. And if he's getting to that, then he can put a, put a vest on him. One here. You can put a vest. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> so you can put it. You can put a. You can put a vest on him, which is six kilos. Anybody needs to take a few few pounds off, then throw throw a vest on him as well. So good stuff. Anybody that's doing rehab work, prehab work, the stuff that Morty showed you this morning, they're easy made. That's your fundamental movement skills. You know, Morty showed you how to step over and the. You seen it this morning, the presentation. But they're easy made. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. You know what I mean? Simple stuff. Two holes drilled down, and that's your, your stuff for your club. 20 quid was made.
But what I'm saying is, I work with a lot of teams, if somebody's injured, unless their legs are hanging off, they will train. So unless somebody's died belong to them, they will train. So, stand on that. Just stand, just stand on two feet. Big one. So you can stand on up with two feet. I can play about man. Good. Nick, stand on it. <laughs> Good. He's on. You ready? Sure. Good ask you. Oh, he's telling go for the field. Loads of stuff you can do, man. Okay? Okay? Rugby pass. Loads of stuff you can do. Okay? He's getting core, he's getting rotation, he's getting strength. He's getting an overhead throw. So loads of stuff he's getting and he's activating all the deep muscles in his leg, throat reception. He's getting core. One foot on it now. So anybody that's injured, the coach work on him. The selectors can work on him. So one foot, knee up. Come bring it back. Come bring it forward. Bring it back. Bring it forward. Add on the ball. Change legs. Pretty good. Good. On the leg. Well, that's good. That's good. So you see we're getting that, bring one end to training, loads of stuff you can do. He can also do kettlebell work, if he's got whatever, depending on what's wrong with him. If he's got a broken arm, he can still do the other arm. Okay, loads of stuff you can do, broken arm. Like I said, I'm working with stroke patients in the wall, the stroke patients, and from fit, to not so fit, they work with them bands. As I say, there's loads of stuff you can do with them. Speed then. Just stand there, wee man, wee man's quick. So one bounce, you catch the ball. One bounce, you catch the ball. Right? Shakes his head and he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So one bounce and you catch it, alright? So watch, look at his feet position, look at his back foot, look at his hand position. Brilliant, brilliant. Now, show me a get start position, show the coaches your get start position from here. Good. So we've got a man, I don't know if the Ronan coach showed you it. If he does that, turning, bang, turning, what's going to happen is groin and his hip flexor. What's going to happen over a period of time? Because he'll train him, and I'll train him, the teacher will train him, the under teens will train him. What's going to happen in this area? It's going to get injured. So all you have to do is turn the foot around. Opposite arm, opposite leg out. But what we do, we run like this, pull the whistle, pull the whistle. Problems in here, arms like this, all over the show. She'll be, she'll be doing, turning, driving off the back foot, staying nice and low, opposite arm, opposite leg. So proper running mechanics. So what do you try that? Go a wee bit further back. One bounce to have. Look at that, opposite arm, other arm right. Your arms are here for, no, lovely, lovely. You think you get, you think you get it? Yep, Yes. Go! Now go back to the exact same spot. Like I said that boy earlier on, I'm staying here till he gets that ball. Stop there. Bad burns, bad burns. Make sure you get it. No. Nope. Nearly there. Everything. 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 It's the last ball. Again, lucky in the championship. Final. The beat lucky. Watson's dropped the ball, and you're going to nip in in front of him. Will he get it? Yeah. Jesus, I hope you do. What's your name? Ronan. Ronan. Go, Ronan. <laughs> Ronan! <laughs> Bounce! <laughs> Some of that equipment there. The medicine ball. Using it. Working the deep muscles in the shoulders. Pulling in me, and I pulling in you. So it's all that type of stuff. Working the deep muscles in the shoulders because what happens in the gym, they go into gyms, they're doing loads of shoulder press, and they're big, building the big muscles around the outside. They're going to do loads of sit-ups, they're going to build their biceps, build their core, or their tummy, build their legs. And what we forget about is right down the back. So it needs to be balanced. You need to work chest, upper back, tummy, lower back, hip flexors, glutes, quads, hamstrings, right down. So everything needs to be balanced out. Does that make sense? Along with hydrated players, I can stand here all night and talk, but he's giving me a dirty look, so. <laughs> all right, Tommy, thanks, mate. Just the only one other, the other game that diagram there about was about backs and forwards, you know. It used to be when we played backs and forwards, uh, forwards tried to score, basket the ball and just hammered the ball away, you had it anywhere. So 
you can look at different ways that you can put slalom poles. You know the way the half back line midfielders drop deep now to half back line, they create this human barrier and so on. So when backs coming out with the ball, you should you know, be saying to them, you're not allowed to release the ball until you get it over that barrier. So if you put a line of slalom poles across the field and you say every time you clear the ball now, you can decide when to clear it, but you must get it over that area. So we want it in the front of the full forward line. So you're creating space for them and you're doing away with the barrier. There's still people coming out and just lashing the ball and hit the ball back to you. Nearly every team plays now with four halfbacks on pocket. And then the break and they come forward. So it's serious, serious important. The other one is when they're coming out, the back's coming out with the ball. You have an orange bib and a red bib. When they're coming out, they're working the ball short and short and short. They're allowed to hit the ball at any time they want, but they must hit the target you directly pick out. So if it's an orange bit, you shout orange, they must hit the ball directly to him, either to their hand or to they can stop it with a horn. And if it doesn't hit the horn, then you can put 20 press ups. That's the natural thing to do. But it's important nowadays, and every ball, football or hurling, you must get the ball to the person. And you must specifically give the backs a target. Say, we are going up, you just got the ball and you lashed it out. You can hit, hit over the line even. At that time it wasn't for you hit the ball over the line now, you're in deep trouble. Because really you're setting up a score. They'll either some boy will step up the line ball, ping it over the bar, or else they'll play it like here, they'll play it to Tommy, and Tommy plays it back and then they'll pop it over the bar. Because you're giving them a play, basically lost the ball. So it's, that's the last just hopefully you picked up on that, you clearing that they're alright, all right? Mm -hmm. Good. Co Co coaches just on that, there's some great reading material out there, but when, when you're coaching, I believe, believe in what you're doing. Yeah, don't, don't do